people sometimes they understand you, but sometimes they don't, right? It's some of your decision, maybe they don't understand why you make that decision. Like when you left uh, Celtis, then people said, why? Why Ray wants to go to Miami? And then uh, also there's a, since we're here, we're in Shanghai, and uh, you and Paul Pierce is uh, like the, the hot topic of this uh, whole game, right? And then um, can you just uh, let me know what is the relationship between you and Paul right now? I think well, you guys have really having a good time this morning, right? Yeah, we 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 seen each other this morning. Uh, I I haven't had any issue uh, with anybody, and I, I I never have issue with people. It's never personal uh, with me. Uh, when you sign up to play anything in any professional sport, uh, we're playing a game, and that ultimately is what can't be lost sight of. Um, it was the situation that all of us were in. Uh, we were kind of brought there and put in this great situation. And if it's not taken care of, then you kind of lose it. You take it for granted, you lose it. And, you know, my decision, it's, it's tough for the fans to understand, you know, people who were in Boston, because for me, those were the hardest people that to have to leave. Those were the you know, the greatest fans I've played in front of. Uh, with no disrespect to any other fan, just the difference, you know, the way they support the team home and on the road and uh, the way they follow the game, it was just a different, uh, it was just a different element. Um, but there's so much that goes on behind the scenes with, uh, with teams. And the players understand it and the organizations understand it. But when, when, I'm, when I left, what you, what you, know is that everybody on on one side is going to say everything that they need to say to make their side look like they did everything that they could to make sure that they made it correct for me but you know for my opinion I see something totally different uh, as well as you know any player that was traded or moved on like you have your issues you have your your beefs that you have and it's up to a team to make sure that they, um, you know, in a free agency period, make sure that they take care of whatever issues that you may have. So if a team doesn't do that, then you have to make sure that you find the best situation that's available. And it's probably, that was probably the hardest, uh, one of the hardest decisions that I had to make because I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to have to. But uh, the team almost put me in a in a bad situation. And um, so it, it I ended up being where, where you know, it wasn't that it, it wasn't that it, at the end of the day it ended up being Miami or Boston. It just ended up being Miami or Boston that I was no longer going to be playing for the way uh, free agency went at that time, which was sad to me and it was sad to my family because we're New Englanders. We live in Connecticut. We never wanted to leave. Uh, so when, it re when I realized that they weren't doing me any favors as, as far as keeping me and, you know, give me any any um, uh, protections or, or guarantees of what was going forward we knew we had to it was time for us to move on and that's the thing about sports you just you just move on you just have to move on because teams do the exact same thing when a team feels like you can't help them win anymore they trade you and they trade you and try and figure out how they could leverage you for their future for somebody younger uh, for multiple pieces. Uh, when teams do it, everybody says it's a business. When I did it, I was disloyal and I was a traitor and I did all these things. And, and you know, I always wanted to say that I loved where I was. Um, if the team did what they needed to do to keep me, I still would have been there. But they didn't. And once I had to move, it was time to go. And um, so I had to, you know, amongst the options that I had available, I made the choice uh, to go to the best option that was going to allow me to uh, to win the championship, and it worked out 100% uh, uh, the way I had hoped it uh, would work out. Um, Miami wasn't, you know, apples and oranges. It wasn't great. You know, we had a lot of things that we had to work through and deal with, and we always say the grass isn't green on the other side, but I know my work, and I know what I need to do every single day to be ready and be prepared, and ultimately that's what I had to do. 
And it, I was put in a situation where I had to, long term, I had to help win this team a championship. And it worked out. And uh, so now I have two rings. And I'm proud of both of them for the work that I put in. And um, I appreciate, I don't regret anything. Um, because everything that we do, it puts us where we are. Um, and, you know, I've learned a lot. And, again, it's, it was always my, my cross to bear. Uh, when something negative happened, I just had to deal with it and, and move on. So it's like uh, the water under the bridge between you and maybe Paul? or does he Well, you, I mean, that's a conversation that, that has to be, you know, had with Paul. Because if, if you remember, I haven't said anything negative about those guys um, in the last four years that I've been um, for more than four, um, last, it's been 10, uh, how long has it been? It's been five or six years since, since I've been gone. It seemed like it was a year or two ago. So I haven't, I don't have any ill will. Um, when, when I left, I was a free agent. Um, so I, I, I haven't, you know, it's disheartening when you hear things negatively that people say about you because when you win, you're, you're in love. Like, you love each other and the families are in, in close-knit proximity at, at all times. So, for me, I've never had, you know, I, don't, I didn't look, you know, we won together. When you win together, you always share that bond. And that, that, to me, has never changed. It's just you have to, each person to a man knows that in the NBA it's such a business that, when they're not, when they can't use us anymore, then they trade us off or they cut us. And multiple people in the league, if you ask anybody who's been traded or cut, will tell you, "Hey, I could, I couldn't serve them anymore. They got rid of me." And uh, we've seen it evident with uh, Isaiah Thomas just this past week. Yeah. Um, there's no loyalty in sports. It's not about loyalty. It's about a business. You know, each side has to do what's better for each side. Even you're such an old school person, but you don't think there's a, some realty in the basketball or in the NBA, I mean, in, in the NBA. Yeah, no, there's, there's no loyalty at all. It's not. It, it's, it's always what have you done for me lately. And a team will tell you that a certain player is, is not tradable. But we used to always say that anybody could be traded for anybody. Because if you take one the best player in the league and trade him for two of the best players in the league, the other team is going to say, we'll take the two over just the one. Mm -hmm. So it's easy and it sounds good to say for, for teams or organizations, but they'll trade anybody if, if a good deal is put on the table. You can't, you know, any GM, they think about the PR behind it, but at the end of the day they're going to say, well, this is going to make our team good for a long run and we possibly can win a championship this year. So... Saying loyalty to a person is is not relevant because we as players, the best we're going to do is a 15-year career, in some cases 20-year career, and you, uh, organization has to think about long term where they can go from from you. Uh, you look at Kobe; he played in L.A. his his whole his whole life, but towards the end of his career, they had to start thinking about basketball after after Kobe. So. Um, it's just the nature of the game. We can't play forever. But organizations always have to think about, you know, how to move on from that franchise uh, player that you've had a decade or so. Um, it's just a tough situation. And we know as players, it's like, I, it, it's not personal. They just have to do what they have to do. So when I sign a contract somewhere else, like, you should not be mad at me just the same.